In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package percent indicator. This is the simple app we are going to build today, where we have a circular indicator and a linear indicator. Let's get started. As mentioned, we are going to use the Flutter package percent indicator. Just click on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and then run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Then concerning the layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app with a scaffold. Within the scaffold, we have an app bar and a body. And this body has a column. This column is of size minimum and it's centered. Then we have a circular percent indicator, a size box, and then the linear percent indicator. First, of course, import the Flutter package here. Then for using the circular percent indicator, as you can see here, we can simply use it as a widget. You can give it a radius. I gave it the radius of 60, then the line width. So this is the line width here. Then animation, so when the app starts or when your screen gets shown with the indicator, then it should animate like this. You can either set this to true or false. Then the percentage, of course, so how much of this is filled. If this is set to 1.0, then everything is filled and 0.0, .0 is basically nothing filled. Then you can give a widget here that is in the circle here. In this case, I just use a text widget with the string 70.0%. And then you can also, of course, write something like the footer if you want to use this. Otherwise, you don't have to use this. This is just for you to see what you can do. So as you can see here now, it's removed. Also, you can set the stroke cap here to round, for example. So you, as you can see here, it's rounded. Otherwise, you can use square or but. So this is but. And you see there's basically almost no difference to square or butt. Then of course you can set the color here. You can also of course set this gray color here. For that you use the background color here. So background color, colors.green accent for example. Otherwise the default is gray as you can see here. Then for the linear percent indicator here, you use this widget here, then you give it a width, then you give it the line height here. Animation duration, you can set this. So this is in milliseconds. And of course you can define this also for the circular percent indicator, then the percent again. So how much of this should be filled, then whether you want to have something in the middle here. So the center, we have a text widget in this case, then you can also define whether this should be, for example, rounded or not. If you look at the pub.dev website, at this current stage, the examples are still with the linear stroke cap, but this is deprecated. You should rather use the bar radius as so, but in case this is updated, then you can just use this from the examples. And then in this case, again here, we have the progress color, which is here, this color here. And again here, you can set the background color to a different color if you want to. If you have a look at the pub.dev website, you can also have a look at different examples you can achieve with this package here. So here for the circular percent indicator, you can achieve these kind of different widgets or for the linear percent indicator, you could also do this. And the code for this is simply here. So if you scroll further down, so this is here for the circular percent indicator. So it's basically a list view of these different indicators. And here's the example again. And for the linear percent indicator, here are the examples. And then here you can see it again in action. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.